Welcome back on Market Headlines. The Indonesian government is actively issuing retail bonds which are intended to increase the domestic investors and support the state budget needs through that instrument. But in the midst of this pandemic, is investor risk appetite for retail government bonds still well maintained? And let's discuss it further and already connected via Zoom. Maximilianus Nicodemus, Associate Director of Research and Investment, Pilar Mas Investindo Securitas. Hello, good evening, sir. Hello, Mas Fajar. Yeah, Dewan thanks for Dewan. joining us on Market Headline. Yes, regarding, yeah, regarding investors' uh, appetite in retail government bonds, how is the interest of domestic investor in retail government bond issuance so far? Yeah, jadi memang kalau kita lihat sebetulnya sangat tinggi sebetulnya minatnya Mas Fajar kan begitu karena apalagi kalau kita lihat sebetulnya uh, sorry. situasi dan ya pardon me um, may, may, may you explain it in English oh, okay okay yep. sure. okay so far memang uh, they are so very interested to start investment in our government bond uh, can we see uh, with the let me say situation and condition like this Um, still not good, good enough to start to apa namanya consume. People will be um, spending their mm. money to investment. So we can see the end to growth uh, with which people have everything bigger than before. So people need the the alternate product yeah, who can give the people return and bonds. If this robots can do that. Obviously, as long as I know, uh, the mm, government will launch six kind of bonds. As number one is obligasi retail Indonesia. Number two is suku retail. Number three, saving bond retail 10. Number four, suku tabungan 8. Number five, suku retail 15. Number six is obligasi retail Indonesia 20. So this is so many kinds of bonds in here. So we can choose which one uh, we can get the big coupon in here. Okay, so many various yeah. of uh, retail government bonds, and by April there have been three series issued. The total reached 42 trillion. Is it in line with with the domestic uh, investor risk appetite itself, sir? Yes, of course, my father. Because this year our government is uh, have a goal, maybe around 18 trillion. Just Just, just the only for retail bonds. So this is uh, our big, our big opportunity for our retail to start investment in bonds. So this is yes, of course, this is in line with with, with, with our uh, our goals, Mas Fajar. Okay, but uh, uh, from the various retail bond series that have been issued, sir, um, is there any series, any specific series that most favored by investor? Uh, maybe you can give a, as an example from ORI or SR or SBR that most favored by the investor itself. Yes, uh, maybe uh, I think the, the mostly people like uh, obligasi retail Indonesia. This is fairly most famous in here. And in the second, maybe we can uh, look to cook retail. So cook retail is maybe one of the region, our bonds in here. So obligasi retail Indonesia, um, to cook retail still be number one. And then uh, there are some newcomers in here. We call it setting bond retail or to cook setting bond retail. So this is, uh, gives us many choice to, mm. uh, to, to choose our investment which one will be good for us. So, um, I think that uh, Ori, Sukri, and Sukuk Tabungan. Mm, okay. So, uh, there are some uh, series that most favored by the investor. But by looking at the current conditions, we know that we are in the middle of the pandemic. Um, actually, what kind of retail bonds that domestic investors want and need in the same time? Want and need in, in the same time. Yes, of course, a big coupon, Mas Fajar. Because yeah. this is very most important for, for, for bond, for bond, uh, for bond, for bond in investor, I mean, because this is very, 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 uh, very most important when we want to invest as in, in bonds, we need a um, coupon and of course we need capital gain. So yes, of course, still the coupon is number one when you want to choose bonds for investment. 
Okay, so uh, there are some uh, points, uh, especially coupon and and the itself. But generally, sir, uh, how is uh, oh, how do you see the the government bonds market so far or today's? Uh, is it still good? Is it still interested for investors, especially domestic investors? Yes, uh, so far our our bond market still good and. I think we can compete with the other with the other countries in say, Asia Pacific because I think this is very most important because our yield still very most interested and yeah uh, we can compete with India we can compete with Malaysia yeah so far I think this is very good for us so I think it's gonna be more increasing for our investors. Uh, especially to invest in our bond. Mm, okay. Uh, in, uh, still uh, interesting and then uh, still competitive if we compare it to the other Asia-Pacific. But in terms of risks and return, our government retail bonds are still quite competitive if we compare it to the other products in the Indonesian capital market. Hello, Mas Fajar. Yes, yeah. yeah. okay. Uh, is any government retail bonds is still quite competitive if we compare it to the other Indonesian capital market products, sir? Yes, if we compare if if we compare with the stock market, yes, of course, it's not competitive. But the stock market will give you more higher, more higher um, return, higher high return. So, but our bond, our bond market is very. So there must be need considerations for investors to either buy or sell the government retail bonds, but hopefully from our discussion, it can be uh, inspiring for the investor maybe to look for the retail government bonds as one of their instrument uh, investment. But thank you so much, sir. Our okay. time is limited. Let's continue it in the other uh, session. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mas Bye. And stay with us on Market Headline. We'll be right back after this quick break.